He's in it. No driving. No driving. So, I've only got a very, very limited amount of time with this. Just came in, and it's already sold. It's leaving today. I'll do the best I can. It smells like a new baseball glove inside of there. This is the all new 2017 Genesis G90. This is the predecessor to, I don't know if that's the right word actually. This is what's replacing the Equus and it's nice. Like I said, I don't have a ton of time with it today because it is literally on its way out. I'm not allowed to drive it or take it out of here, but I can definitely show you what it looks like. Come on. Watch this. When I open this door, did you see the seat move? The seat moved back when I opened the door. And now this, if I don't get the door shut all the way, <laughs> tightened itself down. See that move too? Open the door, rises up, close the door, comes down. At the first look here, this is definitely not just a rebranded Equus. There's a lot of good looking stuff going on here. I'm just gonna let you see for yourself. Totally new design here on this center console and everything. This is our uh, selector for this massive screen up here. We'll get to that though. Some new buttons down here for your heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, our uh, little shade in the back there. Moving our way up, we've got a nice solid grip on this shifter here. Now, it looks like you're actually shifting through your gears here, but this is definitely electronic. Tapping up and back. We've got this new design on all these buttons here. And then, like I said, leading up into, well, let's not forget our analog clock, but then leading up into this massive wide screen aspect ratio display up here that looks crystal clear. Like very, very high resolution screen there. Definitely just doing a quick fly over here as far as what this car has to offer, but the design on this plate on top of the speakers for some reason is just really catching my attention. It's like a metal plate with all these holes. It just looks super sharp. And of course, when we're talking about the Equus, we have to address this back seat. Personal controls back here, very similar to what we have in the front seat. Have our adjustment buttons right here for a chauffeur or perhaps a fancy Uber driver. Memory seats in the second row here. And our uh, pretty little makeup mirror. Boy. I can't wait to actually drive this. I think that's probably it for today. Stay tuned for the next one we get in. Because this baby is a lot more than just a pretty little thing to look at. Thank you.